Hello and thank you for watching this video tutorial on OS Forensics by Passmark Software. OS Forensics is a feature-rich, versatile, and robust computer forensic software used by various digital forensics, cybersecurity, incident response, and IT professionals around the world. In today's video I'm going to demonstrate the new OSF workflow feature and talk about the available options that this offers our users, both from the installed version as well as running OSF from a USB drive. Once you launch OS Forensics, you'll be looking at what we call the start screen. Here you will see a list of different icons in the main portion of the page, as well as a column of features on the left hand side of the screen. This column is now being referred to as the workflow, and you can customize this area by either clicking on the customize workflow icon, which is found here, or simply by right clicking from within the workflow and selecting Customize Workflow from the right-click menu. Now you'll see another option available to you here in the right-click menu called Thin Buttons. And what this does is just give you the option to condense the workflow items to a smaller view. You may also notice there is a left arrow at the bottom and top portion of the workflow, which will also allow you to further restrict the amount of screen real estate that the workflow takes up such as this. And then to bring back uh, the full default view we just need to click on the right hand arrow at this point and then we can right click and deselect the thin buttons view. So getting into the workflow customized options we'll go ahead and click on the icon here from the main start menu. So selecting the customized workflow icon either here in the start menu or from the right click menu over here in the workflow itself will open up the workflow options window here and you will see that you now have the options of restructuring the uh, restructuring the features available in the workflow as well as the ability to conceal by deselecting certain modules uh, from the workflow this feature was implemented so that specific users who were only able to utilize a few of our automated processes could customize the interface to just display those particular features that they or maybe another user needed or wished to run. You will also notice that you now have the ability to rearrange or restructure the workflow modules into any order that you wish. This enables all of our users to customize their own installation of OS Forensics to better mirror their forensic workflows at their own office. So in order to move an individual module, user, users simply need to just select a particular module and then use the up and down arrows to place the module where they wish or want it to appear. So for instance, I will select on recent activity and if I wanted to move it up, say, below the manage case module, I simply need to click the up button a few times and click OK and my changes are immediately applied. So opening the customized workflow menu back, um, OS Forensics will remember these selections after you close the program and users can revert the workflow back to the default settings at any time simply by clicking the default button which is located here. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on OS Forensics. If you have any questions or comments please feel free to contact us by email at info at passmark.com or visit us on the web anytime at www.osforensics.com